Good day, Oz Mining here. We've got a K for Casper. Building some shelves, I couldn't help myself. I thought I'd do a little bit of uh, Casper artwork just to uh, just amuse myself, really. I thought you guys might like it. Casper is the king of cryptos at the moment. That said, uh, Alethium is on the way for the ASICs. Yesterday, Ice River announced their K, no, AL0. So I was mining, picked up five of them last night, so hopefully they'll get here between the 15th and the 30th of August 2024, and we can get them ROI ASAP. We've been really busy here at the crypto mining warehouse, not just making uh, crypto art, but we've been building out the warehouse. We've got ASICs up and running, and today we have been working on getting a shroud on and a silencer kit with an inline fan so let me show you guys what we've been up to check out the casper bazooka looks awesome and it is so unbelievably quiet. I am really, really, really impressed with this. To be honest, having five Ice River KS5s in here running away, and there were a few times where the fans reset on 100, and they are incredibly noisy. And where I am here, I actually went to I'll probably want to get about 20 ASICs in here. If I'm going to do that, I have to get everything as quiet as possible and also get the air in and out of the warehouse as efficiently as possible. Now, at the moment, the warehouse is pretty big. I've got a lot of air volume in here, so generally the hot air is dissipating. Oh, that looks brilliant. Casper, love it. We love you, Casper. Keep giving us the crypto profits. Please do. So yeah, for now, I'm not too worried around getting air in and out of this warehouse until I probably ramp up and get another five of the larger ASICs. Like I said, I have yesterday picked up five Ice River AL0s. I need to start saying AL instead of KS because there's a new kid on the block and that is a lithium. So yeah, so I've got this on today, really, really happy with it. The plan will be, I've actually ordered five more of these shroud kits from Nakamoto Mining. I don't know, let's see if we've got his, uh, there we go. Thank you, Nakamoto Mining. So first shroud kit on, there's another four on the way from Canada right now. I've ordered another, eight of these AC Infinity silencers, which are just amazing. You know, this fan is reasonably noisy. I've just got it running on 100%. I've just got the standard spoofers, not the ones that can talk to the inline fan and adjust it like it will the normal fan. So that's just running 100%. It's a little bit noisy without the silencers, but with these on, it is super quiet. So the plan with these, I will be switching that around and all the hot air I will be pumping out of these windows here to take all the hot air out of the mining warehouse. I'm thinking for probably up to around 10 ASICs, I can just draw cooler air, air from inside the large volume of the warehouse through my machines and get the hot air out the window. I think when I ramp up, and I'm aiming to get about 20 to 25 machines in here, I may need to start bringing cool air from outside and that might be from coming from that window down there now my other plan will be I think I'm gonna put my GPUs down in that corner I may leave them open air but I also might put a essentially an indoor crypto shed in there just so I can pump air through and out and really control that temperature as opposed to just having the air waft around let me know what you think but that's just where I'm going at the moment let's just look at my artwork again I love that So yeah, good progress. This has taken me a pretty much a full morning just to get this worked out. But I guess with the learning curve, things should speed up. So there's a fair bit of work to do. 
what I might do, I've only actually got one of the KS5Ls. So I've got two KS5Ls, one down there and one up here, and then three KS5Ms, which are the bigger 15 terahash versions. What I might do is, let's just see how quiet this is. Now remember as well, if I put some ducting on there, which I'm gonna do shortly, it will probably get even quieter. But look, without the ducting, and I'm talking, so if I'm talking, look, that's around 80 decibels. Let's just do a sound test. That's about 70 decibels, about a meter away. And let, let's come back over the corner here. around 68 or 69 standing back a little bit what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pause the video I am gonna get the other KS5 L from running I think it's down here and then we'll do a test again about a meter away and at the back of the thing so you can see here me talking is running about 80 decibels so you know these are running 10 decibels quieter than me talking, I guess, reasonably loud, loudly on this video. So, yeah, so I'll pause this video and we'll come back really quickly and we'll see what sort of noise that one makes compared to the, the Casper bazooka up top here. All right, guys, we are back. We have now switched on the KS5L down here without the shroud fans and the inline fan and silencers on. And uh, I think also, you can kind of notice it's got quite a distinct like a high pitched kind of noise so I don't know if that makes a difference but it's just that really high pitched whirring noise irrespective of the overall volume that I think does tend to sort of annoy people quite a lot. So we were about here so if we come down here and get the volume on the other one now running Yeah, so we're about 73 decibels. If I stop talking, just watch it for a minute. There you go, so about 72, 73 decibels. Now here's the thing. This fan is running 100%. This attic is super cool. These fans are currently running at 52% and it's actually running warmer, so Here's the big thing, this ASIC is cooler, it's probably going to look after it better, and this ASIC down here is noisier, it's hotter, and potentially it could have a shorter lifespan. So I think the other thing I do need to measure is the electricity of the four inline fans versus this. I can actually buy a special adapter which connects to I guess the control unit, which will actually adjust that fan as well. So just take it down from 100%. So anyway, let's just go back here a little bit. So that's probably the big thing for me. Standing back here, that was about 72 decibels, which again was about four decibels higher than the shrouded silenced ASIC. So yeah, you know, this is amazing. And like I said, those fans are only 52%. When I've got all the machines in here running, they run about 60, 62%, and that goes up another level. So even on a very low fan setting, this is way noisier than this. So job done, love it. The Casper Bazooka is definitely the way to go. So nice job, AC Infinity, and uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Got a lot more work to do. Got to get the other inline fans and silencers on the other ones. They're all being posted to me at the moment. So hopefully by this time next week, we'll be all quietly making passive income. Bring it on. Thanks for watching. I'll bring you another update real soon. Take care.